Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. I'm excited because today I get to talk about Luminar Neo, the new app announced today by my friends over at Skyloom Software. It looks amazing. I'm going to dive into it and share everything that I know and can share about the product in this video. Also, a couple of shameless plugs. The first one, if you go to my website, gymnext.com, you can click on newsletter and sign up to join my newsletter. That's one of the ways I will be keeping you guys up to date on developments with Luminar Neo. And as I get new news, I'll be sharing that in the newsletter. The second way, of course, I will be providing videos here with more information as I get it. So don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel as well. Let's talk about Luminar Neo, what it is, what it's all about, that kind of thing. These are some of the questions you're probably asking yourself. And let me just tell you in very simple terms, what they've done is they took the best parts of Luminar 4 and they took the best parts of Luminar AI and they put them together and you get Luminar Neo. So one of the things that people loved about Luminar 4 was layers, but because of the way Luminar AI was architected, it would not support layers. They literally could not put them in there. So when you made that move from 4 to AI, you gave up that feature. However, you gained a whole lot of really cool AI-based editing tools and other features and things like that. So what they've done now is they've taken the layers component of Luminar 4, a lot of the amazing tools that like the AI driven stuff that's in Luminar AI and they made Luminar Neo out of it. It's cool stuff Four basic ideas behind the product. Basically, number one, give us cool stuff, right? Number two, let me be flexible in my editing. Number three, I want my editing to help me produce amazing results. And number four, I want high performance, right? So that's kind of the basic idea behind Luminar Neo. Now I am gonna pause here for a commercial break and that is they're starting a pre-order period today and it runs through September 19. Now I've got a link down below. It is an affiliate link. If you use that link, it means a lot to me. It provides me support they, because they give me a referral commission for sending you their way. So if you do decide to purchase, please use that link below. It's a free way to support me and you know that I'm gonna be here every week day in, day out, rain or shine, you know I'm gonna be here making tutorial videos about Luminar Neo because I, I expect I'm gonna love it just like I love Luminar AI and Luminar 4 before that. So the first 30,000 buyers qualify for the early bird pricing. And here's the best part, I think, is that you get a 30-day money-back guarantee from the date of delivery of the app. And so even though it's expected in the winter time frame, sometime late this year possibly, we don't have an exact date, but even though you won't get it till then, your 30 days starts the day you get it, not today. So buy now and then decide later, because if you buy now, between now and September 19th, you get the best possible price. And if you look here, you can see all the pricing down below, but a single license, uh, it says one seat, and what that means is for one computer, right? So a single seat license, uh, upgrading from a previous version of Luminar or Aurora is $34. Honestly, that's amazingly cheap. And in fact, there are features coming in Luminar Neo that I think are worth $34 just for that feature, honestly. So it's a great deal. Please use the link down below if you do. Purchase, great support for me. Let's get into the details and why you're here, which is what is it and what are we talking about, Jim, and all that kind of stuff. So new product in the Luminar family. It's an advanced creative image editor driven by AI technology designed for folks like you and folks like me that sometimes we want more advanced stuff, more tools, more options. We wanna do complex creative edits and make cool things, Luminar Neo is gonna give that to us. It builds upon the best of Luminar 4 and Luminar AI, but it's got new stuff. One of the great things is, is not only do you get new stuff, but a lot of the tools that are in Luminar AI are gonna migrate over. So you're gonna have some familiarity, and so the transition is not gonna be like, oh my gosh, where are the buttons? What do I do? It's not gonna be like that. You're gonna have some familiarity and knowledge transfer from AI to Neo, and frankly, from Luminar 4 to Neo. It will work as a standalone or plug-in workflow. And this is the meat slide. I'm gonna let you look at this stuff, and I'm gonna talk about some of this, but there's so much here. Honestly, I can make a video just about this slide, but they're talking about AI-driven composites, isolating elements of a photo, adding layers, tools, masks, blending modes, all this kind of stuff. It's amazing. It does have image layers, and they're talking about AI masking as well. This is something that everybody's been asking for. Hey, give me layers. Hey, give me better masking tools. Okay, here it is. Uh, it's called Luminar Neo. Any tool, any mask, any layer, any order, any time. 
That sounds like heaven to me. I'm pretty excited. Um, I've got a question mark here where it says expose mask next to the AI driven masking. I don't know if that's going to be included in some of these AI masking tools, whatever they are. But when you look at Portrait Boca AI, that's the first time they've exposed the mask to us. I think that's pretty cool. And I think maybe that was a little bit of a nod to the future when they did that. So just a guess, there's going to be AI based uh, power line removal and dust spot removal allow you to get rid of that junk quickly and easily. That feature and the AI driven compositing, to me, each of those, that's a $34 feature. You bet. That's absolutely worth it. I've got a thousands of photos from an old camera that I just did a terrible job. I never got the sensor clean and there are spots all over it. I honestly have spent 20 and 30 minutes just trying to get the spots out of a single image. If I can do that automatically, that's $34 well spent in my opinion. There's also AI driven relighting options. Again, I'm trying to guess here. Are they going to be human aware? I've got some before and after photos I can show you, but I think Again, my uh, supposition here, that's their depth mapping at work where you're going to get better exposure control because they're going to understand the depth in the image and that sort of thing. So I think it's going to be very powerful. AI driven portrait background or replacement like that replace the background in a portrait. Yeah, that sounds pretty amazing because otherwise you got to go to things like Photoshop and try to do it. And that is not fun. Round trip mobile image management. That looks pretty amazing as well. Add your mobile photos quickly and easily to Luminar catalog, edit them, send them back so you can share them on Instagram or something. Major time saver. Luminar AI, still here, still supported, still for sale. Never was intended as a replacement for Luminar 4. That's why I'm saying you can think of this product as the best of 4 and the best of AI stuck together and you get Neo. Luminar AI is considered a complete set of tools that is not going to grow in complexity. It was designed for a specific audience and for some specific purposes and honestly, I got a lot out of it. I love Luminar AI. I use it every day and will continue to use it. And the AI engine is powerful, but as you can see here, it has some inherent limitations. And one of them is there's no option for layers. And as you stack more stuff into it, because the tools have to edit in a particular order and it loads them all into RAM, it just starts to slow down the system. That's why you now have a Luminar family of products, Neo and AI, right? So AI, as you already know, your AI driven, template driven, complete set of tools designed for those kind of things. Whereas Luminar Neo, creative image editor, photographers and creative artists of any skill level, really more creative control, more creative options, more complex edits if you want to do it. As it says, for those that want to create more. That's folks like me and maybe like you. Honestly, this is what we've been asking for since Luminar 4, right? We've been saying we want better tools, more powerful tools, but we want layers. Now we're getting it, right? So dreams do come true, I guess. Um, the thing about the family of products is that they share some traits, just like you tra share some traits with people in your family. Knowledge is transferable. I got a bug flying around me here. You can install both on the same computer, but they don't exchange image editing data and the library does not convert from AI to Neo. I know for some people that's going to cause a hassle. It's going to cause a little bit of a hassle for me, but Luminar AI is not going away. So you're going to continue to have it and have access to it. And if you need to get into it and do something, your photos are still going to be there safe and sound and happy. They're also providing utility to help you convert Luminar AI templates over for use in Luminar Neo, which I think is going to be great. I use templates a lot and I would like to continue to use templates or whatever they're called in Luminar Neo because Hey, I like that fast, quick kind of stuff. So here's some of the before and after and some of the things that they talk about. But again, create mass fast, you know, quickly and easily with AI where here it's, uh, you know, hinting that you're going to be able to isolate that sky quickly and easily and use that mask. I don't know for sure. I'm just making guesses here, but that looks pretty awesome. Li uh, you know, unlimited creativity with layers, right? We didn't have that in Luminar AI. And, you know, with texture overlay, you could do some things, but you couldn't do this kind of composite work. But if you have AI masking and you have layers, you're able to do some really cool stuff. Here's an example of something really cool that you can do in Luminar Neo. Here's another one. I mean, that's just amazing looking. I love that. I just, these kind of conceptual, interesting, just different things I find just fascinating. So that kind of stuff you can do automatic background replacement on portraits. So the original is in the center, as you can see, and different backgrounds on the left and right side of the model. Here's an example of a background that's been replaced on this model, right? You can see different examples here. You get the idea. 
dust spot removal automatically. Like I said, that's a $34 feature for me. Maybe I'm a severe use case, but I, I took a lot of photos that have a lot of dust spots. That's gonna save me a massive amount of time. Again, here's some more before and after examples. New AI-driven relight technology. I don't know how, about you, but I've got plenty of photos where the lighting is off. Maybe it's a quick snap of somebody in the family. Maybe it's a real portrait that I'm really trying to do a good job with and the lighting's not right. AI-driven relighting, I think, is gonna be really cool to really help you control the tones and the exposure better with a single slider. And by the way, here it is in use on a landscape, and here it is again on another model. And my guess is, just like Structure AI, which is human aware, I have to imagine they're building that human awareness into these other tools as well, so that that relight is gonna recognize the human and figure out, oh, that's a face, and we should lighten that up a little bit. So as you can see, this is Jim guessing. This is not me telling you anything that they've told me. Uh, but it looks to me like they're building upon what they've learned from portrait AI and the ability to light up a face and add the bokeh and all that kind of stuff. These things are starting to build and compound on each other and give us more and more advanced tools, which I think is fascinating. Automatic power line removal, that's really cool. And there are a couple more examples. That's it for my slides, my friends. I wanted to give you a high-level overview of Luminar Neo and what it is, why we have it, when it's coming, how much it costs, and maybe, hopefully, why you should upgrade. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a great product. As I said, if you do upgrade, please use the link below. It's, it's, I really appreciate the support. It really means a lot. And as I said, as you know, I'll be here every week making videos about it. So more soon. Uh, I expect to get more briefings, probably uh, pretty close to a weekly basis, maybe a little bit longer than that. So every time I have new info that I can share, I'll be right here and I'll be on my newsletter sending that out to you guys so that you're aware of what's happening. Thanks for watching, my friends. I appreciate it. You guys take care of yourselves. Hope you're as excited as I am and I'll see you soon. Take care and adios.